Good morning, everyone. My name is Callie, and this is another weekend of Clarinets, Cats, and Coffee. In today's video, I am going to take you guys through an example of how I go through speed training when I practice. And so this is a little chunk that I need to work on, and I thought it'd be fun to just kind of practice with you guys. I'm not gonna tell you guys where this excerpt is from, but I will give extra bonus points in the imaginary game of my channel to anybody who can guess this excerpt. Before we get into this, I want to say thank you to all of my patrons for supporting my channel. If you're not already a patron of my channel, please consider supporting my channel for as little as $3 a month. I have a link below and patrons get all kinds of cool perks, so I hope to see more of you guys there. In addition to that, every week on Facebook, on the Clarinets Cats and Coffee Facebook group, we post videos of ourselves playing the weekly excerpt, so if you're having a good week, and you're having fun practicing this stuff, go ahead, get your phone out, hit record, and then go post it on the Facebook group. It's a really great group of people and everybody has been very supportive and kind and so I hope to see more of you there. All right, so speed training. I think many of you have heard me say this before and if you watched uh, my videos over the past couple of years, every so often I will do a video on speed training. So when we do speed training, what we are trying to accomplish is to work ourselves up from a slow, manageable speed up to what we would otherwise think of as an impossible speed, right? So we work ourselves up from what we can do and we push ourselves into the realm of what we can't yet do. And by methodically doing this day after day, week after week, you can work your uh, technique up to, you know, otherwise very difficult, uh, very difficult tempos. So I am going to play this excerpt for you initially just to show you how it goes. And if you want to play along with me, you are welcome to do so. But my my goal is to work this up to 138. Now, I've played this excerpt like many times over you know the past few years. So I'm not starting this from zero. I'm starting this uh, from a point where I I know I can sort of play it up to tempo, but I actually really want to like make it sound cleaner and more musical up to tempo. So I'm going to slow it way down. So uh, this is what it sounds like at moderate tempo. At slow tempo you guys can hear probably like a little bit of inconsistency at some point a little bit of hesitation here and there and a couple of bloops so my goal is to get rid of the bloops and to play this very confidently so I'm going to start this at a nice nice comfortable tempo of 60 on the metronome and while I'm doing this so Yes, I know I can play it a bit faster, but what I'm trying to do is really think about what my fingers are doing and what I'm doing musically and how I'm using my air. So I'm trying not to build up tension up here while I do this. I'm trying to relax, take a nice deep breath and keep my fingers in a nice, relaxed, close position to the instrument and just think very rhythmically, but also very musically. All right, so here we go. All right, so that was pretty good. I'm going to push my metronome up, go up three, down one, up three, down one, up three, down one. This is my this is gonna be my pattern today. A lot of times I'll do the two click method, but this time we'll do up three, down one. One E and a two E and a ready. All right, down one to 60. 
Do 66 again because I was a little messy at the end. All right, up three to 76. down to 72. down to 80. All right, so 80, that was a little bit rushed, right? And it really doesn't matter that I know I can do it at 84 comfortably. I need to also be able to do it at 80 reliably as well. All right, I feel good about that, so we're gonna go up three clicks to 92. Control it a little better. All right, that felt comfortable. So let's go up three. We're at a hundred now. Uh, uh. down one to 96. All right, that was pretty good. So let's go uh, one, two, three, three to 108. up to 116. Cool, down to 112. Messy 
think I'm going to try it again. pretty comfy. I'm going to go down to 120. Cool. All right. We're going to go up three. One, two, three. Now 138 is my goal tempo, but we're going to actually go back down to 132 after this and go up three and then go down to 138. So that way, 138 is my comfy tempo, and I'm not feeling rushed or crazy or whatever while I'm doing it, okay? So right now, it may feel a bit rushed, but it's supposed to. feel a little more comfortable. Okay, I have to reset my camera. All right, we'll do it again at 132. This is 152. I don't know if I can do this, but we're going to try. Okay, that was insane. All right, we're going to go down to 138. At this point, 138 and faster, it's still a little bit tricky for me. Uh, so what I would do is go back down to 126. I'm not gonna do this right now. I'm gonna go down, to, I would go down to 126 and really do this maybe like 10 or 15 times at 126 and then and then go up to 144. Do that about 10 or 15 times and then go down to 138 and see if I can get it to feel a bit more locked in and comfortable. I hope that helped you guys out. Um, and what, what you wanna do, you know, if this is like insanely fast for you uh, and you wanna practice this excerpt because let's face it, it's really fun. Um, you can start much slower than 60 and make your goal tempo, you know, like, 92 or 100 or something like that and give it a try try doing the up three down one up three down one and see if that can kind of help lock in um, a bit more comfort with tricky technique okay so let me know what you guys think if you have any other cool metronome tricks that you do to do speed training leave them in the comments below so we can all learn from each other i look forward to hearing many of you post on the facebook group so don't be afraid to record yourself doing this it doesn't matter what tempo you do it at i just want to hear you guys play thank you all so much for watching have a good weekend a good rest of your week and as always happy practicing